Hey you guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick update. I just got out of doing my lab work right now. Um, they had to take a lot of blood and honestly when I was in there, I just like turned the other way. I felt the needle go in and I was just like, I just turned the other way and I was just like breathing through it and she's like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I just don't want to look at the needle and I don't want to see the blood coming out. I'm like, so just take what you have to and that's it and she was like yeah she's like i i understand it's definitely a lot of blood that we're going to be taking right now because there's um i think it's like six different tests or five different tests so i guess those are the tests that you do when you first find out you're pregnant so like the standard test i guess the test that i did opt out of is the mt21 i believe that was and that is like the chromosome screening um, to see if your child has down syndrome so i opted out of that one and the reason why is because whether my child has down syndrome or not i'm still going to love my child there's no thoughts of me ever ever aborting my child at all getting rid of it whatever they want to call it it's abortion but i know they call it like ter a termination or just like a miscarriage or you know because a lot of family a lot of women don't know how to deal with down syndrome um which it is hard it is scary but for those of you that don't know i was raised with my grandparents and my grandparents adopted my uncle who had down syndrome so my entire life growing up from a newborn till i was i think 24 is when when I was 24, that's when my uncle passed away and he had Down syndrome. So I was raised with him for 24 years and we saw no difference in my uncle. He was actually the most happiest person in the world, you guys. He loved music. He loved dancing. He was just so friendly. Um, and with his kind of Down syndrome, he was nonverbal, so he was never able to speak. He did learn some sign language, but yeah, it, it, it was... I'm sure it was a challenge for my grandma and my grandpa, but they loved my uncle so much. My uncle was spoiled. He was well taken care of. They loved him. He went everywhere with us. And it, he was just obviously our family, like whether he had a disability or not. And I feel like he brought more life to our family. Like he definitely brought more life. Like every time we had a party, he was the life of the party. He wanted to dance with everybody. So that's one reason like I grew up with that and I understood what was going on. Um, the other reason is like I said, I'm, I'm, I've never had thoughts of getting rid of my child. God gave me this child for a reason, whether it's gonna come with complications or not but that's a responsibility and I know through Christ I will be able to get through it me and my husband and we had both talked about this um so I I don't want to know because I don't want to affect my mindset if it did like I don't want to have to worry like oh like does does my child have down syndrome is it really real did they miss confirm um because this actually happened with my mom she was pregnant with one of my sisters so the doctors had told my mom that my sister was going to have down syndrome and they asked her if they wanted to abort her child and you know there's a couple of people in our family that was like are you sure like maybe you know you should just terminate the pregnancy because it's going to be a lot of work and having to deal with a child like that you know so a couple of people had told her the doctors tried to convince her but my mom was like no like absolutely not like i could care less you know and it turns out when my sister was born she was the most healthiest baby you guys she was the most healthiest she was the smartest out of all my mom's kids she learned everything on her own so fast she was very independent um at a young age like a toddler age you guys she taught her how my sister taught herself how to be potty trained at like one or two years old. Uh, my sister started to crawl, walk, everything on her own. Like this child is perfect, you know? And they tried to convince my mom to abort her child and look at what happened, you know? It just, it just makes me think of all of those other women 
who think they might have something wrong with their child and it comes out to be the most healthiest baby ever um so definitely for me that's not that's something that i would never think of like i'm going to keep my child whatever complications come with it whatever whatever difficulties like i know god has a specific purpose for me and my child and for my family and i trust god in everything 100 percent, 110 percent um so i didn't want to do that test whatever it is i don't care i want to go on with my pregnancy the way i have been without any interruptions from anyone else so as long as me and my husband agreed on this it's perfectly fine but yeah it's just crazy you know like I think definitely pray about things like that if you're having complications during your pregnancy because it might not be what you think it is it might not be what the doctors say it is usually it's not what the doctors say it is <sighs> so yeah you guys that's the reason why I mean they they messed up with my mom and they said that sh my sister would have down syndrome and honestly there's nothing wrong with that girl but just imagine, like, I wouldn't have had that sister. So, got blood drawn <clears throat> on my right arm. I didn't know what arm to draw blood on. I can't even put my shirt back on, so I just tied it around my waist. But I didn't know what arm to get blood drawn on because I have not had blood drawn in like many years so I was just like it doesn't matter she's like okay I'll take your right arm because it was closest to her and I think I should have done it on my left arm because I'm thinking that my arm is going to be sore but my mistake you live and you learn So if you have to get blood work, do it on your left arm if you can. Okay, so now that I'm done with all my lab work, I'm currently in line for Dutch Bros. Since my husband isn't here with me in the car, um, I get to run any errands that I want. And that means waiting in line for Dutch Bros because my husband does not like lines. He does not like waiting. He has barely any patience so I know with our baby on the way he's going to learn a lot of patience for sure so yeah I'm here at Dutch Bros I'm just waiting um I'm gonna get a coffee probably get a small medium coffee and an iced water because I am thirsty <sighs> what's your guys' favorite Dutch Bros drink um, I'm afraid to try new ones. I usually like to try new drinks, but I think because of the line I have to wait in, I don't want to get something that I'm not gonna like. So tell me what you guys tell me what you guys get from Dutch Bros. Rate it and let me know. Maybe I'll try it the next time I'm here. And after I get my coffee, I'm gonna go pick up our. I'm gonna go pick up our baby shower invites because those are finally done. Those were done really quick. So on Etsy, I just ordered the template and then you just download it and then you could just edit yourself like what you want it to say on the invite. So I was able to do that. I did that over the weekend. Then I sent it to our print shop where we always get our business prints from like our open house signs our for sale signs lease signs and then our business cards those are actually done too so our business cards are ready so i need to pick those up and then the baby shower invites so i'm gonna go right after this and i think that's it i'm excited for our baby shower it's gonna be so cute you guys i just i think it's already two months away it's going by super quick and I still need to buy the decorations and like send out all the invites. That's what I'm dreading is sending out the invites because I need to get a list of everyone's name and addresses, like an update on all of that. And I think we're inviting, so we're inviting 150 people. That's what I'm going with. For my sister's baby shower, she invited 
a hundred people and I know with me and Mike we have a bigger like database sphere whatever you want to call that um, those are like real estate terms so we know a lot of people and we also want to invite our clients too because I mean they helped us get here they provide our job for us you know like we work for our clients so with them giving the with them giving us the opportunity to help them sell their houses or to help them purchase a home I mean that is our money that we are getting and that helps provide us with a family with a house with our cars you know so we definitely want to give back to our clients so we're going to be inviting our clients as well to our baby shower um so I'm thinking it's going to be about 150 people that we're going to invite and then what only a hundred people probably show up or so but I have to fill out all of those invites that's going to be a lot what's that what is that not easy That's a lot of work. And then with buying all the decorations, setting it up, my husband has been cleaning the backyard because we are going to have like a backyard baby shower. So we kind of have the setup already in our minds how we want the tables to look and what the decorations and the theme is going to be. So that is fine. I have everything in my Amazon cart already. Um, so I'm just adding things little by little to my Amazon cart for the baby shower, like all the decorations and what we're going to be using. So I just need to order those soon. And I kind of want to set up like one table as an example. So I'm going to have like the white, oh, hold on, it's for me. Hi. Good, how are you? Good, can I get a name for you? Yeah, my name is Summer. Can I get a medium iced um, golden eagle? I believe it is. And then can I get a large iced water too? Yeah. No, that'll be it. And I think I have like where I scanned the thing. Yeah. Um, as I was saying, so I have everything in my Amazon cart that I just need to order soon. And then start passing out or start mailing the invites. I'm really excited. I'm so happy. I am extremely excited. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. From one time. Baby shower. My thing getting ready. Yeah. Other than that, um, I am feeling great. I am feeling amazing. I've been taking my vitamins. I've been drinking my water. I've been getting my protein high fiber protein or a high protein fiber however you say it um, I actually had an appointment with my midwife just a couple of days ago and she was telling me we're setting up like a meal plan which is really nice I love having a midwife um, she just wants me to have more protein she wants me to get at least 75 to 100 grams of protein each day um, and she said, you know, to just calculate it daily what I'm eating and then at the end of the week see where I need to make up on that protein. So right now, I mean, I eat like three eggs. I eat three sausage links in the morning. I know each egg, I think each egg is six grams of protein. And then I think the sausages are, what's it? Shoot, I forgot. Anyways, I have it written down. I think it was like three grams. I think each sausage was three grams of protein, something like that. Um, so that's just what I get for breakfast and a little bit more and then dinner and all of that. So it's nice to kind of um, watch what I'm eating. So at least I'm getting enough protein and I'm trying to incorporate a lot of greens and green juices. Oh yeah, the tea, the Nora's tea. And there's another tea that she makes, her and her partner. Um, they are very like into the herbal, like the teas, the tinctures, all of that. So all of it is homemade, which I absolutely love because I've always been that type of person. I love homemade stuff. I love herbs. So that homemade tea is for me. 
it's nice to have someone who makes that stuff so that has been good I've been drinking my tea every day and I've been taking it's called a Rishi tincture so it's actually I think it comes from way back I believe in the Chinese culture um, so it's really good for the pregnant women to have that every single day and also the tea that I'm taking the Nora's tea it's like a pregnancy tea that helps to release the placenta and it also helps to loosen your muscles so when you're getting ready to go into labor um, which is awesome so I've been drinking a cup a day and it tastes good I just put honey in it that's it the tincture that I'm taking daily I take two two drops daily of the Rishi tincture and it tastes like Jaeger Monster mixed with Fireball. It's a very interesting combo. I do not like Fireball because I had a bad experience with Fireball. Jaegermeister was my thing in my early 20s. I would drink Jaegermeister just like that. I would take Jaeger shots, um, Jaeger bombs, whatever. And I would mix it with Monster sometimes, but I was like in that phase where I would just take where I was just drinking Jaeger from the bottle, you guys. I don't know how I used to do that. And now I'm just like, Ugh. no, not for me. But anyway, so drinking this, it just reminds me of that. Like, like fine, I guess I'll drink it. But that has been very helpful. And doing my stretches and going on walks every day. I'm just trying to be active. I want to have a smooth pregnancy and a smooth labor. So whatever my midwife is telling me, I'm going to listen. Yeah, so my midwife appointment went great. She's just awesome. She's amazing. Like when I went in, I just, I just feel so comfortable with her, you guys. Like midwives date back to the bible like those are biblical times they talk about midwives in the bible so i know this is for me i know it's great to have a midwife they take care of you i believe midwife stands for with women they don't leave your side they help you throughout your pregnancy throughout your labor so i think it's great i, I love having my midwife and I get to text her, you know, like whenever I have a complication or something. And I'm also going to have an interview with a doula as well. Um, the doula is more on the emotional, mental side. And the midwife is more on the medical side. So yeah, I'm going to have a doula uh, meeting soon. I just have to set that up. Most likely tomorrow, me and Mike. Because I think he has a little bit more free time. And more summer? Yes. Oh, got it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All Perfect. Right. And you're really Thank pretty. You. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was so sweet. Is that that pregnancy glow or what? Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. I think I'm gonna cry. That was that was very sweet. You know what? It was worth. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Like, look at that. She just complimented me for no reason. Even with this thing in my arm, she still complimented me. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's some good stuff. The Golden Eagle, right there. Right there. Right there. I'll let you guys know how my interview goes with the doula. Of course, you don't want to just choose any midwife and any doula. You actually want to interview with them and write down questions before you interview with them. When we went for an interview with my midwife, Mike and I, we both had questions. I had so many questions, you guys. I had 15 or 20 questions. Mike had five questions. Um, and you just, you know, you just need to make sure, like, there was a first one that I was considering, but it just didn't work out with that one, and then the second one, it was great. Um, so now we're going to have that interview with a doula, and I interviewed with another doula as well before, so we'll see which one I like best. But definitely, uh, feel them out, get to know them, ask them those questions, ask them the hard questions. 
I don't know if I'm going to talk more on that subject about advice and pillows and all of that stuff. Maybe, maybe not, just depending on how people feel about it, if they do have any more questions. But for now, I kind of just want to keep that to myself. And, yeah, so I'm, now that I have my coffee, I'm on my way to get baby shower invites and to pick up our business cards. And I believe that is it for today. How am I supposed to, like, pick this up? Just here.